We're standing here with Theater Royal team is Bernadette Peters, Roger Reese, and Rick Ellis. Bernadette, you're receiving a special award tonight. I am. Talk to me a little bit it about it. It's about that. Stevenson Award. It's a humanitarian award. My work with Broadway Cares and Broadway Box, and I'm just very proud that both these organizations are being recognized for the importance they they are in the world. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Roger and Rick, you're nominated for your work on Peter and the Starcatcher. Rick, I remember interviewing you at the meet and greet the day after the nominations came out, and you said you were so nervous, you, you didn't want to hear it. You went outside and you went to Starbucks, and you stood under some awning in the rain. Yes, you were there by the Museum of Natural History. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with a cup of coffee, waiting, hoping for my pocket to vibrate, which is now today's version of waiting for the phone to ring, you know? <laughs> and and, and, and uh, because I thought if it doesn't vibrate, I'm never going home. But then it started vibrating. I went home and, uh, and jumped up and down and broke a chair and have spent the last month uh, shopping for chairs. <laughs> Roger, you co-directed this piece with Alex Timbers, and you did such a beautiful job at that. Uh, it's such a simple piece, but beautiful, uh, beautifully done uh, theater piece. Yeah. Talk to me about crafting this piece, you know, with simple pieces of, you know, tools here and there. Well, it's like a, it's a play where the words are the scenery. We just do We have 12 wonderful actors that are all singers and writers in their, in their own um, uh, right and um, and they and they, and they just use sticks and ropes and uh, uh, each other as doors and they lift each other up and, and using just these simple devices we can throw people overboard we can climb mountains we can have shipwrecks it's an extraordinary thing I think what it is is the audiences are flattered because we ask them to use their imagination and uh, you feel like a child again you feel like Peter Pan perhaps and that seems to be a good thing yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you all of you are no stranger to these award seasons what's it like here we are at the end of the red car Carpet. What's it like coming down this red carpet time after time? Does it does it change? I think it gets more fun, a little easier, and then when you have shows like this, which I'm going to see, I haven't seen it yet, and it's like, you know, I'm going tomorrow. Go. But, uh, <laughs> no, really, and that's all I hear is and when he describes it just now, I mean, and to have the audience feel like they're in on something, it's so special, so that's how it feels for me. How does it feel for you? It's, well, thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm, uh, I, I tell you what, it's like historic, because I come from uh, Britain, you know. I don't no, actually, you don't. Shut up. Uh, no, to be part of the Tony Awards, it's like I've got goosebumps all day, all week, you know, really. It's a wonderful thing to be here, just to be part of it. It's uh, this incredible artistic community here in New York, which feeds the imagination of the world, really. You know, people look to us and we tell them stories. It's a wonderful thing to be part of. Yeah. Well, you may say this is the end of the red carpet, but when you're standing next to Bernadette Peters and Roger Reese, you're really standing at the beginning of the red carpet. Oh, I love it, Bravo. Well, we, have, we, we have to wrap it up, but I just have to ask you, Bernadette, you know, dream role, dream Sondheim role, what, what do you want to do next? I think I did all the Sondheim <laughs> uh, love it. Well, I don't know. I mean, oh, uh, it, was <laughs> it was, wasn't done that long ago. So. All right, all right, all right. Well, uh, on that note, we are going to throw to Patrick and Roma. Did you introduce him?